find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. This is gonna end bad for you. Don't be such a pessimist. You know we can arrest you. Hello, Internet. Today is December 3rd. Oh, no. December 16th. It's the 16th, 2014. And this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk everything movies from the week before, current, and still yet to come. This is episode 56. Guys, we made it to episode 56. Yeah, we did. That's Somehow, crazy. some way, some way, <laughs> we're there. Yes, this is our end of the year 2014 conclusion of 2014 show from new york new york we have mad mike what up <laughs> that's it also, that's all he's got at the end of the year I, I, had to, I had to give a very loud and powerful intro uh i am here in pittsburgh and also in pittsburgh because i am not in the studio we have the sorg also known as Sorgatron. That's right, drinking some hot coffee, keeping myself warm in this holiday season with my uh, Inatech uh, coffee cup. Yes. I feel like you should have lights behind you or something. I do have lights well, behind me. I got a tree. Lord. I got a whole tree. I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Some, uh, <laughs> some paperwork. Anyways, let's talk about movies, Malengo, and not my coffee cup. Yes, let's talk about movies. Trailer of the week, The Taken 3, Liam Nielsen's 12 Days of Christmas. That <laughs> was good. I, I hadn't seen that they had, Was there has there been a, a, a Taken 3 trailer already? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I yeah. can't say that I've seen it. Or just everything looks like Taken that he does. So yes. I, I really, but I love this. I, I, I This is perfect. This, this gets me into it. It's in the season. Sure. Sure, why not? When does it come out? Oh, uh, I think it's on January 9th. Okay, so they're getting that, like, just the advertising in the season. So, okay, I, I, I'm i down with that. Um, it's taken. What what You you know what you're getting. You exactly. You're getting, and they're having fun. You're getting a specific set of skills. Yes. <laughs> None of which are necessarily acting. No, no. <laughs> this ha- I, I'm hoping this is the conclusion, because the way they've been, like, milking this this franchise, like, I don't know what else they could do after this. Malengo, Malengo. Two I, words. Fast eight. This is true. Yeah, he's, no, no, no. Yeah, he's, he's completely right on that one. Yeah. Completely well, right Forrest, on that one. Forrest Whitaker is in this one, so mm-hmm. I feel like he's the voice of, like, I think he'll take on a good script. He won't take on just anything. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he was like, there's not going to be a four, is there? Has he ever been in anything where then they, they then came back and made another movie? I don't think so. Force Whitaker? Yeah. Are you are you telling me that he's like the death knell of, of, of franchises? Yeah, I feel like I feel like if you're gonna get Force Whitaker, that's gonna be the end. We can't go too far from there. Um the only one that can surpass Force Whitaker is the Shield. <laughs> well, yeah, but that was a TV show. Yeah. And I felt like they would have brought him back if they could have, but they knew that it was gonna be over. So good. Such good stuff. Watch the Shield, everybody. It's on Netflix. It's on Amazon Prime, I'm sure. Yeah. Go, is, go is the shield has the shield become like in that uh, in that conversation of like the wire? It's like if you haven't oh, yeah. seen the wire. Oh yeah, uh, I think the shield uh, is is identified as the start of what we enjoy now with Mad Men, Walking Dead, this like second renaissance of, of television on on cable. Nice. So I mean, I think I think it's often identified as, as kind of the the starting point when you think about that, which, which I completely agree with. We were just. We were Netflixing the discs one by one of the seasons, four episodes at a time, binging that thing, you know, and it was it was tremendous. Loved it. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of loving things, right? I did not go see any movies in the theater this weekend. Um, 
and I like seeing movies in the theater. But speaking of movies in the theater, the box office this weekend. Wow, that was a crazy segue to that, right? Anyway, Exodus, Gods <laughs> and Kings. Wow. That movie came out this weekend. That movie did not do well. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you mean it did not do well? It's number one at the box office, sir. Yeah, but being number one, the average this year for like a good opening weekend has been more than 30,000. This movie came in at about a little over 24 or 24 million, more than 30 million. This movie came in at just about 24 million. Okay. Um, with a budget of $140 million. Uh, hopefully once they go like, you know, worldwide or yes, once they open this up internationally, it will probably make it. You think it'll back. just do better because it's about like because of about it's a Bible movie. You think it'll just do better in other regions? Well, like, no. I mean, I was listening to a podcast this uh, this morning on somebody who does movie reviews, and she had a very good point. Like, there's a lot that's going against this movie anyway. Okay. And it, the religious factor, they compared it to a movie that was like point by point pretty accurate in terms of the bible so the passion of the christ was like that and that movie destroyed box offices mm -hmm. right but since then every every movie that they've brought out that's tried to be religious like noah has basically bombed so they're saying so, that so Malengo, you're saying god does you're saying god doesn't draw <laughs> <laughs> wow! Thank God doesn't draw. I mean, I think they, saying, I don't know. I would say Bruce Almighty is a good example of of God having you know lasting staying power at the box office. <laughs> I think I feel like it has to do with staying true to what what people are looking forward to. I think once you start like saying, "Hey, you know, we're we're gonna make in Noah." They're going to be these mythical rocks that are spirits, and they were here long beforehand. I think once you start blurring those lines, where people are like, "Yeah, wait, I don't even like if people can say wait, that I was don't a even... thing in Noah." Yes. I didn't see it. <laughs> isn't that the isn't that the subplot of Frozen? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's reading their but, Bible. No, like there were rock trolls in Frozen. Like I'm that's not a joke. <laughs> There were there were rock trolls. It's not a joke. Like, is Frozen really the icy landscape that happened after Noah, and that's why there are so few people in Arendelle? I just made a fan fiction. Uh, you're welcome, Internet. I basically with Exodus, I hear that. Um, I hear there's some good acting. I hear there the action parts that Ridley Scott uses are amazing. I hear that the visual effects for those scenes are amazing but then there are gaps and what i've heard is those gaps are pointless there's long stretched out and then of course the most overwhelming argument is these are egyptian people and you have cast white people in their place so, but i mean the other movie that came out uh top five which is uh the comedian can't remember his name chris now. rock chris rock, rock. The trailer for that actually looked interesting, but it reminded me of something Adam Sandler did, I think, with funny people. So, yeah. I mean, that's why I was kind of intrigued to see it. But, I mean, the fact that it didn't really get a huge release and it still pulled in fourth, I mean, that's that's pretty good. I don't know if they'll open it up to more. I heard somewhere that they might be opening it up to more uh, theaters, but... Basically, the rundown was Exodus came in one. Number two was Hunger Games. It's about twelve million. Took a forty-two percent drop, and then Penguins of Madagascar pulled in number three. So, what is top five about? Like, I again, I've learned, I know little about Exodus, just that little bit about the the casting issues. But uh, what is Chris Rock doing in, in top five? I'm seeing uh, Charlie Rose all over this trailer and a bear, huh? And a bear, so from what a bear I can with tell, machine guns. From what I can tell about uh, about top five, it's more like I, I I'm basing it off of what like the trailer and also its comparison to funny people. But it, it's more like, hey, this is a comedian, and this is a comedian who kind of gets interviewed for like what's real life kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it kind of seemed like everybody hates Chris the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of like that. 
But it has Kevin Hart in it, so I wanted to see it, and I don't know if I want to see it anymore. I mean, there are a lot of comedians actually in it. Um, Tracy Morgan's in it. Yeah. Oh, I hate Tracy Morgan, by the way. No, I can't say I hate him. I dislike his humor. <laughs> I appreciate his humor. I don't love his humor. He, he doesn't sell a movie for me, you know what I mean? Like, Pop Out is a perfect example. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't know when I'll see this movie. I'm probably going to, honestly, I'll probably wait till it's not in theaters anymore. But uh, moving along, the top 50 films of 2014. Top 50? This is going to be a top long podcast. 50. We are not going to go through oh, the top Oh, thank 50. you. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right. I haven't opened the link yet. I have not opened the link yet. I'm going to guess what number one is. All right, yeah, guess what number one is. Because... Sorry, did you open the link yet? I opened the link, but it starts at 50, and uh, I saw okay. my pick is, is is not, just just popped up in the not number one page, so. <laughs> okay. um, but uh, but no, you go ahead. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I'm going to guess number one is either Interstellar or Gone Girl. Nope. I think, I think somebody's got, not having seen it, just hearing the buzz. I think it's going to be uh, Fault in Our Stars. <laughs> no? No? That seems like it would be... I don't know. I, I don't know how Empire well, picks it. like saying it'd be Dumb and Dumber 2. Dumb, is it? Really? I don't know. I just heard all the girls going crazy over Holy crap, it is Dumb and Dumber 2. <laughs> oh, wow. No, I, I haven't even heard of this one. <laughs> yeah. Mlango? <laughs> The the number one movie is um was it about a boy or boyhood? Boyhood. Oh, boyhood. Yeah, I should. What is this? That. Boyhood is uh I was actually gonna watch it today, um but it is a movie basically about a kid's childhood from I think the age. Oh of six wait, to this 18. is the one where they filmed it. Like they actually filmed yeah. the same kid, like as he grew up and put the it's movie the together. Truman Show the movie. But but like yeah. but but they legit like this is the same kid like as a kid as an as a teenager like they actually filmed this over the last like ten fifteen years right yeah, yeah. that is I remember hearing about this that's crazy yeah. that deserves it just for like technical effort alone he got interviewed on um, NPR and it was the uh, the director mm -hmm. it was pretty interesting just like the fact that as they kept coming back the kid just didn't really realize what was going on. Mm -hmm. And then when he did realize that he, he was like, eh, it's a little awkward. But, yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm an actor. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Oh, <laughs> interesting. So I think he was on the daily show. Yeah. Well, it was, I, I don't, I, I know the director. Well, no, no, he was, he was, wasn't he? That, that's yeah, where I, I heard so. about this. Um, that's awesome. That, that, that's, I, I do want to see this and uh, see how it came out. But uh, it, it looks like it looks interesting. In that, I will give props um, for Empire that they said Guardians was number five of the year. Nice. I'll give props for that because usually comic book movies don't get a lot of play like that. Uh, then rounding out the top five, we got number two is Nightcrawler uh, with um, um, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Very depressing. You know, which Blango calls the very depressing is the number two depressing movie of the year. So there you uh, go. Uh, well, let me um, refer to it. It's number not depressing. It's number very three is dark. Wolf on Wall Street, which uh, just popped up on Netflix actually. So I'm looking. It's, it's in my queue. I'm oh, wait, wait wow, to check that Wolf on Wall Street was 2014. Yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't feel like it, right? So long number ago. four is Inside Lewin Davis. Nope. Ugh. Don't even know. No. Nope. I had no desire to see that at all. I had no desire to see yeah. that at all. So, um, uh, interesting. Uh, I, obviously, the biggest box office is uh, Guardians, but uh, yes. it, but it was generally a good movie too. You know. Yeah, no, I definitely enjoyed Guardians. Um, some notables: uh, Forty One was Chef. Uh, if you haven't seen Chef, that's an awesome movie. That's yeah. going out on Netflix next month. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Um. 37 obvious child i actually i saw the trailer for this i haven't seen it uh the trailer looked hilarious but it looks like uh one of those indie flicks so it would be hard to actually see unless you lived in new york or los angeles mm -hmm. so yeah uh how to train your dragon 36 Ooh, 36 nice yeah i just i just came across that one 
Is are there any other uh, big animated films uh, along here? I, I can't remember any other el- any any other ones uh, aside from Big Hero Six, and I, I I couldn't imagine that one got it on here. Uh, yeah, Lego I mean, Lego Movie was number seventeen. Mm-hmm. Well, it's Lego Movie. I think is the biggest surprise of the year because it, I don't know. I'd say that's Guardians. Really? Yeah, I think Guardians. Because yeah. like I knew nothing about the Guardians until that movie came well, out. Well, also the Guardians. Nah, you kind of had a feeling, didn't you? Okay, you, could you say? Did you well, really or, think that this or, thing? That movie was announced. Yeah. That movie was announced. Everyone's like, "Okay, you guys, <laughs> this is the first one that Marvel's gonna fail." It's like okay. uh, to bring this to a wrestling uh, analogy. It's like when you see someone win a Money in the Bank contract like the Miz, and you're like, okay, this is the guy that's going to lose. And then he ended up winning and doing okay. really well. All right. Uh, but, but, I'm not comparing but, the Miz okay, to but what the about, Galaxy. What but... about when you first saw the trailer? Oh, well, I thought it was yeah. going to be a huge hit. I think a bunch of people, when they first saw that trailer, it really turned around. Like, no, that that's going to do pretty well. I don't think we expected well, it to do that yes, well. But not as well as it did. No, no. Yeah, because the trailer was all 70s and 80s music. It was and like... Plus, it blew out of the water X-Men, Days of Future Past, mm-hmm. and Captain America, both of which proven track records. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, a, it's a movie with a talking raccoon and a living tree. Like, it wasn't supposed to do as big a box office as it did. Yeah. yeah. Um, Frank, I don't know if – did you guys – did any of you guys see Frank? What's Frank about? Frank is about uh, like a mentally disturbed guy who basically wears this huge mask. Oh, I remember seeing the trailer for that. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, uh, that's a good one. I would recommend that. Uh, the Raid is number 32. If you haven't seen The Raid 2, oh my gosh. What? It is amazing. The Raid? The Raid number 2. Okay. Is it, it is... It, or it's a Korean or a Korean, no Indonesian or Thai. The entire Thai, thing is on is on is on YouTube. <laughs> By the way, I just found it. But it was like it's like the second thing that came up. <laughs> so, Raid Two on YouTube. Uh, the Raid Two, B. Randall, full movie. On YouTube. Yes. <laughs> this is not legal. This is not legal. I can tell you. I that. don't know. They have an English dub, which made it a lot easier. Yeah, when they... they released it this time. Okay. If it if that is the the dub, I mean, I watched that movie and I was smiling the whole time. It is so good. Okay. Uh but yes, it's kung fu. It's uh, basically. I mean, if you haven't seen the raid one, I suggest go seeing it. It was on Netflix a while ago. Mm-hmm. Might be able to see it still on Redbox, but I. I am about to buy the Raid 2 from iTunes because I liked it that much. Nice. Uh, it is a little long, but if you like action, if you like Kung Fu, if you like bloody, gruesome, blood, weird ways to murder people, well, yes, wow. you, will, you will enjoy okay. this. Okay. Uh, the Guest, number 18. This is a weird one. Uh, it's kind of like a weird military type thing, uh, but it's kind of like twisted. It was good, but it w- honestly it wasn't something that I would have gone to if if it wasn't on this list. <laughs> That's the only reason I watched it. So yeah, but some other notables: Godzilla made this freaking list, guys. It made it at number twenty-six. Wait, oh no. Yeah. No. I was not happy about that. I like Dumb and Dumber 2 better. <laughs> and I did not like that movie. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand why that movie was better than all the other ones that I've listed so far. But somebody out there likes it. So, vomit in my mouth. Here's a question. Between X-Men and Captain, or, uh, Captain America Winter Soldier... Which one did you guys think was the better movie? Um, Fanboy X Men, <laughs> as a soldier. movie, Captain America. Yeah, I mean that's basically how they had it. Thirteen and twelve, twelve. Yeah, thirteen was X Men: Days of Future Past, and twelve was Captain America: Winter Soldier. That, that seems about right. 
for them being that close together too, yeah, I, I kind of agree. Here's the movie that so many people, like, I don't know, this is just the dark horse, whatever, black sheep. Edge of Tomorrow, number freaking six. Uh, you mean the one that was so poorly received at the movie theater, it had to change <laughs> its name on DVD to live, die, repeat. Which sounds like a bad Brock Lesnar t-shirt. It kills me. The movie was so good. I don't know how else to say. If you haven't seen it, go see it. I don't care what they call it. It's good. It's a, it's a very fun one-time watch. So, yes, we already talked about Guardians in number five. The Wolf of Wall Street, number three. I watched that again this weekend while I was working out. Uh, yeah, funny and very messed up, but funny. <laughs> if you haven't seen that movie, I don't know where have you been. Um, but yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio, man, the guy's a beast. He, he and, knows uh, how to pick roles, doesn't he? He does. He does pick some very crazy roles. Uh, but yeah, we already talked about Nightcrawler. Um, I don't know what the, Jake Gyllenhaal also likes to pick. Well, I don't know if he likes to pick. I think he was just trying to get an Oscar. So <laughs> he was like, give me the, the craziest script you have. Yeah, yeah. And I'll do it. But, yeah, that's 2014. What are you guys looking forward to for 2015? Oh, the usual uh, superhero stuff, right? Is it all superhero stuff? I, it's I, mean, anything I'm have... really, I, I can't think of anything that's really popped up that I'm like, oh, man, like Star Wars is going to be in this next year. Yeah, we are going to see mean, Star Wars. So that's it. That's the stuff that usually pops for me. I, I can't think of any non-franchise thing that's coming up that that's really has my attention, you know? I am pretty excited about uh, something that isn't like a Marvel or a Kingsman, The Secret Service. Maybe. Yeah, I was actually going to say that. I knew that was coming out next year. That's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Um, but yeah, besides that, like, I think, yeah, I think I'm on the same lines. Like, there are, we're going to see a lot of like superhero comic book movies. You got I don't sequel. think there's that many. I think there's going to be um, uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man. <gasps> I forgot about one. Pitch Perfect 2. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Pitch Perfect 2 is going to be great. Still, still a sequel, but yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and, and I... I I need to still go back and watch the first Pitch Perfect now, knowing that the one girl is like a heel Russian manager in WWE. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like it's so weird to look back at uh, at, at her Instagrams because sometimes she's like she's like I I am on because when I read her Instagram it's in the Russian accent I am on the, <laughs> I am on set with my friends in Pitch Perfect too you know and uh, yeah yeah uh, but I'm uh, pretty sure that she was a minor background character though still she's part of it. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, Peanuts comes out next year, but that's not till December. I thought or November. I thought that honestly, I thought that was coming out like 2016. So that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Man, they're gonna make us wait until December 18th for freaking Star Wars. I thought you were gonna say for Peanuts. No. What the hell? Did you guys know they're thinking about making another? No, no, they are. Why are they making another Tom Cruise? Mission Impossible movie. Uh, because Tom Cruise needs money. Uh, Mission Impossible. No, 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 no. Mission Impossible is a good franchise. And I got rejuvenated with that last one, the Ghost Protocol. Eh. Love that one. Movie said I don't care about Frankenstein. I don't know. Eh. Jungle Book. Why? Eh. Why? London has fallen. We already made fun of that. <laughs> Scouts vs. <versus> zombies. <laughs> What? Oh, Scouts wow. versus zombies? What is that? I can't wait to see a trailer for that one. It's a horror comedy suspense. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Yes. Yeah, so next year, I think it's going to. Yeah. We do. There are a lot. We got the Mad Max franchise coming back. You got Fantastic Four redo. They got Goosebumps coming in August. I think it's going to be a very interesting mix. Mm-hmm. I'm still excited about Jurassic Park. 
and we're getting the sequel to Ted. Too. And we're getting it, Ant Man. Yep, we're getting Ant Man. Like it's oh, and Avengers and and everything. I mean that that's really it, you know. Batman versus but Superman. I, but again, I don't think no Batman versus Superman is 2016. This 2000, oh, they 2016, pushed they pushed it back. Yeah, or yeah, yeah because it was supposed to be up. It was supposed to be, actually it's pushed it up to March because it was supposed to oh, be against isn't Captain it next year. Um. I thought I thought they pushed it to 2016. It's, it, no, it's still 2016, but Captain America three comes out in 2016. Oh right, because that's Avengers is this that's year. Okay. So, anyways, um, well, if we're done with movies coming up <laughs> and racking on that, uh, what you guys watch this week? Yeah, so I went back and watched uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. I enjoyed mm-hmm. that. Um, yeah, that was the big one that I remember watching. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I watched, uh, I actually caught up with the I Am Santa Claus movie uh, starring Mick Foley of WWE fame. Uh, really good documentary uh, produced by Marcus Borlock of, of uh, uh, you know, Super Size Super Me and size all that me. kind of stuff. Uh, but it, it was really good because it, it was uh, uh, Mick Foley kind of go through the process. Like, what does it take to be a Santa Claus? And he gets to go through that process. They showed a little bit of when he was here in Pittsburgh as Santa Claus getting hit by a car. Um so that was fun. Uh, and it was just looking at, like, these are people that look like Santa Claus and do the Santa Claus things, and they're from all walks of life. They went to a Santa convention. They had a they had a regular Santa. They had a, a Santa that was trying to, you know, that, that was hard on his luck. They had a, a Long Island Santa that talked about any time he dyed his hair white and became to look like Santa, like he was just a nicer person. There's a gay Santa. There's a sex club uh, ministry Santa. That one I don't completely understand still. Um, but it was a pretty, it was pretty good, uh, you know, just like slice of life kind of documentary out there. Again, it's on Netflix right now, or it's on purchasable on every digital platform. I was surprised it was on Netflix already because it um, just came out like this month. So, mm. so there's that. Also, Anchorman 2, I watched the supersized edition or whatever it was called with the 260 uh, extra jokes. It, I never saw the original. Mm-hmm. So it feels like they just left all the takes in. Mm. So you, you just notice it just takes a while to get from like the beginning of the scene to the end of the scene because they're just sitting uh, there riffing. No, sorry. That was, that was the original cut. No, that, 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 that's just how they did it. That's just how, that's, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I looked at it. It added 40 minutes to the movie. That's sad. That's yeah. sad. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think it helped with the flow too much. Oh, that was not no. a good movie. No, it, 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 they should movies that should have stopped at one. Yep. Anchorman, Hangover. Yep. There, there are a bunch of them. There are a bunch of them like it's that. It's fine. Um, it's not my favorite, but it, it, it's fine for what it is. It's, it's kind as of far as stuff that I saw this weekend, mm-hmm. I uh, did not see any movies, but I saw Aladdin on Broadway. Oh wow! Ooh. Which uh, was amazing. If anyone is a fan of the movie Aladdin, the guy who plays Jafar in the movie is the guy who plays Jafar, at least in this first run on Broadway. Nice. And I also got the Blu-ray set of Adam West's Batman. Nice. Hmm. And it is marvelous. You're going to have a very Batman Christmas uh, there binge there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's really, really good. I've only watched the first disc of season one. And oh god, is it glorious! Like everything is labeled. Uh, the, the police are just the most inept people. I in my head, I'm watching it, and I'm hoping Gotham somehow leads to this. <laughs> That's an interesting way to look at this. So, 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 so the Commissioner Gordon becomes. You're waiting for like yeah, the Irish. Yeah, cop. like like this Jim Gordon that's on Gotham. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eventually, does so well helping <laughs> Gotham City that when Batman comes along, he doesn't need to be so badass. Yeah, when Batman comes along, he only needs to handle supervillains. Zip pal. Poof. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I I think it should. What was that Batman that you said that you just got? Because I'm interested. That's interesting. Adam West. Adam West Batman the Blu-ray uh, series collection. I'm going to try and check that out. I forgot. Uh, wait, 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 Mario, have you never oh. watched Batman? What's that? Have you never watched 60s Batman? The 60s Batman? Yeah. Yeah, you know. No, 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 I have, but not, like, straight through. I wasn't, oh, like, no. 
Oh, my God. But you're familiar with it. Okay. I, 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 was, I, I, I was worried for a second. I, I thought that maybe we couldn't be friends. We were, have, we were about to have a Batman intervention. Yeah, we were. You were, were going to unfriend me because I hadn't seen that? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> maybe. That's until you watch of, Batman. I mean, uh, I think most of my friendships are, are, are based on whether people have seen the 60s Batman or not. <laughs> you know that almost ruined it for batman there's a documentary where they talk about that yeah so did batman and robin so anyways with that with hey, that hey hey i will defend batman and robin to death all right i can't Ooh. wait for if you like uh, if you like the 60s batman eh, there's yeah, nothing wrong so. with batman and robin i i can't wait uh in our studio right now for a show later in the night is uh is actually a, a dj lunchbox of panel riot and i know he has to see batman and robin to talk about on the show and i cannot wait for that episode i want to be on that episode <laughs> <laughs> i think we all need to as a supportive structure uh, for oh that one. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Do it. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to say I did see Horrible Bosses too, and all of the funny jokes, Mad Mike, I think you stated this, all of the funny jokes were in the trailer. That so, did not, that's, that's, does not surprise me at all. Yeah. That's why I wait for and, Netflix, because then I've forgotten all the jokes from the trailer, and yeah. I can watch the movie fine. Yep. And then uh, I did see Annie. <laughs> oh, how was and, that? Uh, well, I mean, it's not in theaters yet, but right. With the whole leak from Sony, I feel sorry for that franchise and for Sony with that one. They will lose a lot of money for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Was it good, though? Uh, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, because that, that's probably one that I'm going to end up being dragged to. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, have fun with that. Okay. Oh, so, you'll know, you'll know so all the it's, songs. it's a hard knock flick for us. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, get red box, then a red box. Wait, Netflix. It's a hard. Oh, knock geez. Flick. <laughs> I did the whole thing. I did the whole thing. You're welcome. Internet. Take I it. know that's not the last singing of tonight either. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Fun, well, you guys. That'll do it for 2014. You guys are all on Twitter. Yes. Uh, I am at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Mike? I am at MadMike4883 on the Twitters. I'm at Rambling Mango on the Twitter. We have a Facebook group page. Go check it out. And that's it for 2014. That's, that's a wrap. And everyone... Have yourself a diehard little Christmas. Yes. Tell us what you guys are watching during uh, Christmas. That'd be fun. What movies we should have watched. What movies you're excited about and stuff. Yeah. Until next year. I think we'll be back January. First week of January. We'll base it on the first Tuesday. First Tuesday. Or first Tuesday of the new year of 2015. Until then, have a rambling movie experience. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Hi, everyone. Do you like video games? Do you like reading about video games? Do you like listening to podcasts about video games? Why don't you check out insertcointobegin.com? New articles going up daily, and you can check out our podcast, Boss Battle, on sorgatronmedia.com.